into a tabletop position, inhaling. We'll move forward through the tabletop, slowly down. You can adjust the hands slightly forward, slightly wider, and arch up and back into Cobra Pose. That's it. And then slowly down, bring the hands back in underneath the chest and shoulders, and push up and stretch back. So let's keep that sequence going. Coming forwards is one. Slowly down is two. Adjusting hands, we'll call that three. Arching up and back is four. Then slowly down, hands in, push up and back. Five, six. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Keep going nice and slowly and as the body starts to warm up you can really feel where you might need a little bit more so for example when you come forward and you'll find yourself in your cobra you might want to stay in your cobra for a few breaths you're welcome to do that so just really responding to your own anatomy you could stay for a few breaths couldn't you and then go back down Similarly, depending on how your back feels or even how your nerves feel, you might want to stay in child pose for a few breaths. So keep that going. Nice and slowly, step by step, absolutely no rush, just feeling how you feel. Have one more complete round. And there we go. And that's such a nice little sequence. We might pop it in between um, some of the other upcoming poses. We'll see how we're doing for time and how we feel if it makes uh, vibrational sense. All right, so let's come up and we'll do um, thread the needle now then. And I want to give you a choice of what to do. So we'll start with the right arm under. Let me spin around then so that I'm, you can see what my arm does. So right arm under, obviously draw the navel to the spine, keep the thighs as vertical as you can. You can choose if you want to, stay in the twist, if I go this way, Stay in the twist here like this. Or if you want to keep it moving, 
opening and closing opening and closing as you open make sure to keep your elbow bent and take the twist in the uh, navel ribs chest don't worry about trying to get your arm up try and open the chest so you can have eight let's say ten actually there's no rushes there you can keep it moving or hold it still you choose your choice enjoy your practice Enjoying the breaths. Okay, so when those of you have finished your 10, then if anyone's doing the static version, we'll change at more or less the same time. Just for one moment. All right, so off you go, left arm under. So absolutely no rush, you take all the time you need when you've done your 10 times thread the needle or had 10 long deep breaths, you can stretch back into child pose or downward facing dog pose and we'll all meet there before moving on to the next thing. Very nice indeed. All right, so slowly up or down from where you are. Let's have another few rounds. Let's say mm, six, six rounds of um, these half salutations. So from uh, your child pose, coming forwards, etc., down, arching up and back. Let's really keep the heat in the practice this evening. Keep the joints lubricated. Circulation flowing. And you know what? If you don't fancy the um, the full forwards and back business, you could stay here at the front, couldn't you? And just keep going cobras up and down, up and down until we're all ready to move on. It's been a real uh, potluck practice this evening. So bring and share, choose your choice, have what you fancy and leave the rest. All right? So I'll say six, but take no notice. You just keep doing what you're doing and I'll just have a feel of you. Um, and you'll know when to move on. Very last one of your choice. And then, uh, that's it, really big stretch up and back. Ah, so 
but we're doing all right for time, which means we might even get another little, another few of those in later on. So let's go to the side lying leg lift part now. So it's a bit of Pilates and a little bit of yoga. So you'll want to have your belt nearby if you normally have to hold your, if you normally use one for a side lying leg stretch. So come to lying on your left hand side. Wonderful. And so just for those of you that normally only do the yoga, let me just walk you through um, this little sequence. We start off with the top leg at hip height and as you lift that leg you, you pull the tummy in so the weight of the leg is really held really borne by the strength of your abdominals so that's your start and end position we do four circles forwards four circles back we go up 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 and down four times like that and then we do four singles all the way to the top okay so that was a that was it on a double time let's go nice and slowly you'll see what we mean so leg up to hip height good so let's draw a circle slowly round doesn't matter which way we'll do both ways four try not to lean forwards or back three four you can already feel this in the hip if you're not used to it but that's what it's for strengthens the hips and the legs and the core beautifully all right so change directions you'll see it's a smallish circle about the size of a dinner plate let's say two more one more nice one then we'll lift this leg up just to let's say about 10 inches pointing the foot flex it there and drag the heel back down to your start position point the foot go up 20 inches i'm guessing at numbers but just a little bit we'll call it level two flex the foot drag the heel back down to your start 30 inches <laughs> and flex the foot and then drag down to the start now all the way up to 90 degrees or as high as you can comfortably manage all the way up flex the foot drag the heel all the way down then singles all the way up and down just four inhale and exhale inhale and exhale two more two good wonderful last one pointing as you go up and flexing as you go down so that's round one round one is always just a little looky loo so here we go four circles one we're only doing it twice two three four change directions with your circles one two three and four point the leg up to level one flex drag the heel down level two point and flex level three and flex to the top to the top yeah. good now four singles all the way up and down four three Two more. Last one. Ooh. Fantastic. All right, we'll have a quad stretch here. This is my contribution. Quad stretch, so closing the hinge joint of that knee, flex the foot, hold the ankle. Nice deep spin around. Nice deep spin in the hip joint, rolling the top shoulder back. So zipping up from pubis to navel. And we'll hold it here. Let's take this up to the ceiling then for the side lying leg stretch. So with or without your belt, securing that right foot. Extending up through the inner heel. See if you can turn the knee out, turn the toe out. Good. Bring the tailbone forwards, hips and groins forward so that you're not leaning back in the back of the pose. 
wonderful. We'll save you for a little bit. So those uh, Pilates movements really did help to warm up that hip joint quite a lot. It feels nice and strong. Really good, well done. Let's release, release that leg down. We'll do everything again on the other side. Oops, fell again. Let's draw the tailbone down at the back, nice and long in the lumbar. So zipping up pubis to navel, drawing the front ribs in. We can lift that working leg, pointing both feet, lift the working leg to hip height, and that's where we go. So circles about the size of a dinner plate without leaning forwards or back. Nice deep, strong circles from deep within the hip joint. Okay. If that feels like you're full when you're ready, change directions. Wonderful, and we'll take the leg up through the levels. Point level one, flex the heel down. Point two, flex. And three, flex to the top, to the top, pointing, inhale. And drag that heel down, lovely. Singles four times, inhale right up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Last two now. One more time. Fantastic. Lovely. From the top point and circle, go round all one, two, three, and four. Four, change directions, off we go. Ready for your leg lifts? So level one. So we point up, point, and then flex level two. Point. And flex to the top, to the top this time, pointing all the way up, firming, hugging all the muscles onto the bone, really stretching the heel, the calf as we drag that leg down, almost against resistance. So singles, that's it. So that was easy, it's getting easier. The first time we did this sequence, we barely made it through one round. The very last time now. Fantastic. Let's hug the, draw the knee up nice and high at the front so we can close the hinge joint, take hold of the ankle, a nice strong rotation for your quad stretch here. So keeping the abdominals drawn up, tailbone tucking under, top shoulder rolling back.
good. We can take this leg up towards the ceiling now. turn out as much as you can, draw the pubis forwards, sacrum in, 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 nice and firm across the lumbar. Right, so see if we can turn the toe out any at all. Just 30 seconds more. go and that brings us nicely well prepared for the seated forward fold so as promised you can choose which version you'd like to do if you want to have <clears throat> Paschimottanasana which is the legs together chin down etc rolling your way down arms to wherever is comfortable chucking the um, lengthening the back of the neck relaxing your shoulders is your option one your option two is uh, the wide leg forward fold. So I did grab my blocks because it's quite nice to, you find, oh, you get down quite a way, maybe wriggle your way down, make some space, and you think, oh, I could just rest my forehead on something. Maybe a stack of blocks or even just in the palms of your hands. So it depends on what your hips, legs, lower back are going to let you do. You choose your choice. Or you can have this lovely seated up version, upright, which uh, stretches the backs of the legs, strengthens through the lower back, drawing up right up to the collarbones. So that's three choices, isn't it? There we go. So nice, long, deep breaths. Perfect forward folds are perfect at the end of a long day. This helps to calm and quieten the mind and soothe the nerves. You want to breathe deeply into the sides and the back of yourself. And just let time and gravity deepen the pose for you.
gently, slowly, ease your way up and out. Take your time. Okay, so let's go towards our pigeon pose now then. So we're going to just be briefly in a lunge, in a lizard lunge, briefly in a lizard lunge. Taking the right leg forwards, turning the right toes out, left leg back. Have a good wriggle round in the hips and the groin. Just think of it as your preparation for your pigeon pose. So you're really opening up the right inner thigh. You shift your weight forward, see if you can get any, just even slightly above the kneecap so that you're not so much on the driving straight through the kneecap. You could put a pillow cushion, you could put a rolled up blanket under that back knee if you like. So we'll stay here for a little bit in preparation for pigeon pose. And stay. All right, so you can choose your choice. If you're quite happy here, you could stay here, couldn't you? Or you can make your way down into your pigeon. So as, as always, you want to close up that hinge joint as much as you can, as well as you can. Nice rotation then in the hip and the groin. You could work your pigeon up. I think we've, and we've got lots of time. So here's a, we're gonna stay for at least two minutes. So you can take your time. If you want to work your pose upwards, if you think, oh, I'm going to take a twist and a bind, that might be fun, might not it? And I'll just see what you've chosen and allow plenty of time for it. Or you can take the forward folding, taking the forehead to your folded arms. So your choice of any pigeon you like, or you might be quite happy in your lunge. So you're just getting settled, so two minutes from here now then.
go. So it turned out to be three minutes, but never mind. So let's have Matsy and Jansana though from here. So we're just going to swing that back leg up and over, stand firmly. And again, as the theme is a popsal up practice, you can choose if you want to do Matsy and Jansana. So that's that left leg goes up and around. Taking a twist, you could have a shoelace twist if you like. So then you've got both feet pointing out to the side, shoelace twist, or indeed crossing your legs in Sukhasana. So choose one of those twists or whatever else your anatomy needs. Yes, if the knees are not impressed, then you can keep the legs straight and just take the twist in the torso. So we'll stay here for a little bit. Nice twist after that pigeon pose. Ease your way slowly up and out and let's rebuild from the lizard lunge so left leg forwards turning the toe out excellent take your time have a good wriggle round make sure you're quite happy it was about a minute of preparation also You're making sure to take your weight above the patella if you can, padding if necessary, really lifting up out of the navel, the ab abdominal area, up under the armpits, up to the collarbones. Let's make our way into our pigeon pose then, closing the hinge joint of that knee as well as you can on the way into the shape. So also do remember if that knee is not having having a good time, you could perhaps just
just bring that back leg forward so maybe take a fold like that so you still get some of the stretch in the outer thigh in the, in the otibial band but with less of your body weight over that knee that could be an option um, so it's one really it's never 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 worth chance in it not with knees yeah you could even just stretch the leg out and have a forward fold if that's your knees not impressed all right there we go Take what you need, leave the rest. Long deep breaths here now. go gently slowly ease your way up and out throw that back leg up and around choosing your choice of placement for it either cross leg shoelace or matsi and dross That's it, really good.
really good and well done release 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 all right so the leg that was on top we're going to put the opposite leg in the belt for star pose twist so whatever leg you just had on top in front for your twist that's the one that's going to go underneath because it's already been in that position so we might as well have at it while it's still warm and sort of still got the, the shape of it, the memory of that shape. So it's the opposite leg, the cold leg or the one that was underneath that goes in the strap and opposite hand. The one that was just on top, that's the one that you're going to take hold of now. Yeah. So I think most of us were on the same leg, so you would be holding your right foot. All right, so if you've got the idea of your star pose, go straight in. If you're not so sure, I'm going to walk you into it step by step. So I've got opposite hand and foot in the belt here. Opposite hand to foot behind the thigh. Make sure that you just draw the tummy in. Take a breath or two, slide the front ribs down. Breath or two, tuck the shoulder blades in. You really want to get all that done before you go into the poses. I always say if you have to do it in the, while you're in the pose, it's a bit late then really. So I'm dropping that bottom knee thigh down, lengthening the lumbar, ease that top leg across, inch by inch. Think of lengthening the top waist, rolling that top hip away from its shoulder, lengthening the back of your neck. Connecting the front ribs down on the breath, no rush. Take your time, really breathe into it. And gently, slowly ease your way up and out. Now then, so before we change sides, we've got one more suggestion, haven't we? We had that twisted roots variation. So let's see what we can use out of what we've already prepared here. So that top leg, the one that was just in the belt, is the one that goes to the outside of the upper thigh. You can take the twist then to the opposite side, gently, slowly, carefully. If you've got the room, you could take a full eagle legs, full twisted roots. And then once you've got that full connection, then go to your most comfortable side. It might not be the side you think. Okay, but don't just force it because you think, oh, logically I should be able to do this or that. Feel into it. They're both very strong. And we've had a really good, strong um, practice anyway. So whatever it was your top leg that was in the belt, that's the one that's going to go to the outside. Okay. 
you're finding your choice, enjoying your choice, making sure that you're supremely comfortable, really settling in on the breath. There we go, gently, slowly, ease your way up and out. Let's hug knees to chest, draw them in and out at least five times. Just noticing or remembering the leg that was on the bottom is the one that's going to go up into the strap this time. But just take a little bit of, um, a little bit of a breather here, knees to chest, in and out, lengthening the lumbar, soft tissue around the back waist. So here we go, opposite hand to foot, opposite hands to feet. Good, make sure to secure the core, secure navel to spine, front ribs, shoulder blades tucking in. There we go, very nice, absolutely no rush at all. Just giving your, your muscles and your joints a few moments to really settle into the new shapes. Slowly ease your way up and out, really gathering your navel to the spine. So it's that top leg 
that goes to the outside, the top layer goes to the outside, and then you make your, that's it, well done. Lovely. So once you've done your eagle legs or variation thereof, and you're going to do your twist, just have a little feel which way makes sense in your body and your in your hips, in your lower back. So find your comfortable edge, settling in on the breath. And we can start the relaxation process internally in any case, because we are um, encroaching on Shavasana. So uh, if we start to relax in the face, we can uh, start the process here. So relaxing the facial muscles, neck and shoulders, the weight of your arms. We're still in this twist. You could have Shavasana in just about any position you're in. Gently, slowly ease your way up and out, hugging knees to chest. Wonderful. If you're staying quite quiet within yourself, you can slide yourself into your Shavasana proper. Make yourself comfortable. Again, no rush. That's it. Socks, pillows, blankets, hoodies, cardigans, whatever you like, whatever you need. So hopefully we're still quiet in the head from the, the last pose. And we can just take our attention now to the navel point and just relax all the muscles around the abdomen, the left and the right side, the upper and the lower abdomen. We might find that from all those twists that it feels quite soft quiet, spacious anyway. Relaxing deep into the hips, the groins, the outer thighs, front of thighs, back of thighs. As you breathe out, consciously release the muscles around the knee joints, inner and outer knee, front and the back of the knee. Relaxing your shin bones, your calves, and your ankles tops of your feet, the soles of your feet, 
relaxing your heels and your toes now. 